In this video, we are conducting a sharpness test in the custom settings on the DJI Osmo Action 4 in video mode, for K25P, 5600K color temperature, automatic exposure, and auto ISO with the normal 10-bit HEVC color settings. Our main goal is to observe the characteristics and how it affects our picture quality. Starting off at sharpness minus 2, noise reduction 0, we did our basic pan shot to determine the movement relations. This is sharpness at 0, noise reduction 0. This is how the picture look as we ramp up the sharpness to plus 1. And finally this is at sharpness plus 2 settings. Now, after YouTube compression, it might be hard to tell how much details are lost between the two settings. From our observations, when you start comparing, minus 2 looks a bit soft, and plus 2 looks artificial. It's almost like the unsharp mask filter in photo editing software. Edge contrast is enhanced. Then we do a walking shot to check the stabilization and how it responds to highlights. This is at sharpness minus 2. Observe the details along the fence and the tree leaves. This is at sharpness 0. There is some more effects that we can see in our monitors, but we won't know how the footage will look after uploading to YouTube. This is at sharpness, plus 2. We think at plus 2 settings, the image looks unnatural and surrealistic. Here is a side-by-side -side compare of minus 2 and plus 2 sharpness settings. We think too much details may work against the video quality after compression, because there will be a lot of compression artifacts. And here is a side-by-side -side of minus 2 and 0 sharpness. Minus 2 on its own, without comparison, is actually pretty decent. It only starts to look soft when compared, while at zero sharpness, we still think that there are a lot of distractions by the enhanced highlights. This is a side-by-side -side of zero and plus two, both of which is still a bit sharp for our preference. With too much details, there might be a lot of compression artifacts, we'll see in the final render and upload. In the next sequence of test, we look at a wider shot with movement details. Similarly, we ramp up from minus 2 sharpness to plus 2. We are observing the details in the trees and the text in the signages. Feel free to rewind or pause to compare the details. Comparing the two extremes of minus 2 and plus 2, we see the big difference. Now to narrow down, we compare minus 2 and 0 sharpness. Lastly, we compare minus 1 and minus 2. We actually think minus 2 setting is more pleasing to the eye but when compared, you can tell the slight softness in the images. This is in agreement with many other online reviewers who mentioned that minus one sharpness setting is preferred. Hope you like this test as much as we do to try and understand the technicalities of our camera tools better. Till then, we wait patiently for DJI to fix the hot pixel problems during long exposure shots.